hey, I need you guys to look at this. And please go to YouTube to watch the entire thing. Because this interview touches two things. The correlation between MMIW and pipelines. Because it's not a coincidence. I want to talk about something that folks really don't talk enough about. Look at this number. 5,203. That's how many indigenous women and girls were reported missing to the FBI in 2021. But the truth is, the real number is likely much higher because a lot of missing person cases, well, they go unreported. Talking about with my students, they started to realize different situations that were scary. So just talking about one girl's story of how she went missing, it seems like all these other stories just all of a sudden popped up. Tribes who are quote unquote sovereign cannot press charges on people who are non-native. We can have it on film, you can murder me right now and you could walk away scot-free. It's not front page news. You know, it's one of those things that I had this desire to make this film to speak to these issues because I knew that unless you Google and you really go into the web to try and find what's happening, you don't you don't know about it. And so I was horrified when I Googled Native American Indian women living here in America, what came back to me were the numbers and uh, continued stories around these murdered missing indigenous women. It was set up, it was systematically set up so that you wouldn't talk about us, you wouldn't find out about us as indigenous people as a whole because America basically um, did what they did to erase us. The pipeline comes Man Camps, which is a special little community set up of trailer houses that house the workers for the pipeline. And they go all the way down the pipeline. And there was a Man Camp that was set up 45 minutes away from the reservation away from where all of our young women live and as i just said in the film the clip that you said um native tribes cannot persecute uh any non-native people and so the, those man camps are one of the main reasons that uh, our women are taken um through human trafficking as well and they seem untouchable uh anybody in america who comes on tribal land is untouchable and, and that's a big problem that that is a big problem that the laws don't protect our lives